Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 5th of October 2016 and we're briefly discussing further implications of the recently published IMF report and further signals as to why emerging markets may actually help the world economy in 2017. Having endured considerable swings in the global equity markets earlier this year, the emerging markets may be about to undergo a surprisingly rapid economic rebound. The beginning of 2016 was fraught for global currency and commodity markets, with the oil price slumping towards $25 a barrel and a raft of emerging market currencies hit by the start of US monetary tightening. We've seen gold rise by 28% this year, now standing up 20% at the current price of $1,269, and silver up 50%, now standing up 28% at the current price of $17.80. However, since February, there has been a significant turnaround in investor sentiment, with global equity markets rallying to their pre-2016 highs, the oil price bouncing back to around $50 a barrel, and the renminbi strengthening once again. Capital inflows into emerging markets have resumed in 2016, following two years of outflows, and the stage may now be set for a period of greater macroeconomic, currency and commodity stability which could propel global growth to 4% in 2017, the highest level since 2010. In its report published yesterday, the IMF stated that it now expects the US economy to grow just 1.6% this year, and the UK to grow this year by 1.8%, but will slide to a growth rate of just 1.1% in 2017, half the 2.2% it predicted in April before the referendum. In both cases, the fund made clear that politics were weighing on the economies, with uncertainty about November the 8th election in the United States contributing to a lag in investment. In spite of this, it forecasts that emerging markets and developing economies will see growth accelerate for the first time in six years to 4.2%, slightly higher than the July forecast of 4.1%. Next year, emerging economies are expected to grow 4.6%. China's economy, the world's second largest, is forecast to expand 6.6% this year and 6.2% in 2017, down from growth of 6.9% last year, but still significant. Growth in emerging Asia and especially India continues to be resilient. India's gross domestic product is projected to expand 7.6% this year and next year the fastest pace among the world's major economies. If the IMF is correct, and Europe and the UK are not too adversely affected post-Brexit short term, this level of growth may be just sufficient to maintain the status quo and not allow world economies to dip any further into recession. This should mean, as a result, the demand for gold, and especially silver, should remain robust into 2017 as industrial usage consolidates and begins to increase. Of course, the IMF could be wrong and growth rates prove nowhere near as high as it forecasts. However, some interesting words from the IMF's chief economist Maurice Obstfeldt prove interesting. Quote, by using monetary, fiscal and structural policies in concert within countries, consistent over time, and across countries, the whole can be greater than the sum of its parts." Unquote. In other words, he is both suggesting and perhaps hinting that world leaders, central banks and industries may work to some degree 
in concert with one another so as to ensure a soft landing is achieved. Of course, none of us know whether they will be successful. However, despite the doom and gloom merchants predicting global economic collapse since even before 2008, we have not experienced it on the scale they have forecast, and gold and silver remain at modest price points. We are not convinced the Armageddon situation will occur before 2018, if it does at all. And this video is one reason of the many which supports why we think that. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe as a free member for regular email updates and offers. Our Facebook page, which is updated daily, can be found at Facebook.com forward slash IlluminatiSilver. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>